Vegas booze up. Harry has always liked getting on the lash. He's always enjoyed a booze up, and why not? But it would appear that this is going to cause a clash between him and his handler, as according to that bastion of journalistic excellence, Heat, Harry's wife has fears over Harry's wild birthday. Now, we know that he engaged in the absolute maniac behaviour of having six half pints on his birthday in Germany, but that was just a going out for a few gentle beers with the missus celebration for his birthday. It would appear, if heat sources are correct, that a hangover-style major bender is in the works. Heat reports, you can't keep a party prince down for long. Just ask Harry's wife, who's currently at loggerheads with her other half over plans for his birthday. Sources close to the Sussexes say that while Prince Harry is keen to let off some steam after a stressful few months, Harry's wife is vehemently opposed. Pausing there, might Harry be wanting to let off some steam? You betcha. Things have been difficult for the old Fanta pubes as of late, Spare was ridiculed, his family aren't speaking to him. He's had court appearances which didn't particularly go too well. There's been speculation about his marriage. He is in the sustained devaluation with all of the malign manipulations that come with that. And therefore, things have been difficult for him. He finds himself in a place where he's isolated from the majority of his friends, and has only found respite when he was able to hand out with Nacho Fugueras in Japan and Singapore, and on occasions where he's been able to do his own thang away from his handler, has he looked a semblance of the man that he used to be. Accordingly, plenty of pressure pressing down on the ginger thatch, resulting in the fact that he may well want to let off some steam with some bevies. Harry's wife won't like that, Notwithstanding the fact that he's in a sustained devaluation, and you might think, so what does she care? Because he wants to do something for himself, go off and do something without her, that's a threat to control, and therefore her narcissism compels her to do something about it. Furthermore, Heat reports, optics are everything, and in a year where the Sussex brand has taken a massive hit, Harry's wife's working hard to repair their reputation, failing, and relaunch themselves as a squeaky-clean Hollywood power couple, so stories of Harry going wild would do nothing to help their cause. Indeed, not only is it the fact that Harry would go off and do his own thing, but that may well contravene with the new image that Harry's wife is trying to project, and therefore amounts to a further threat to control. Harry has suggested a boys' bash in Las Vegas, or maybe Mexico, But Harry's wife told him that this is madness from a PR perspective, says an insider close to the prince, which of course will piss the prince off because he's left thinking, okay, so I want to get absolutely banjacks with some mates and I can't because of the PR. Nice one, missus. Harry, who turned 39 recently, will celebrate after he and Harry's wife return from the Harry's Wife Games in Germany. She's worried they'd get torn to pieces on social media and in the press. Instead, she suggested a sedate affair at home in Montecicco. Wow, I bet that'll be great. Come into the beige room, Harry, for a beige birthday. Look, I've bought you some beige building blocks made of jelly so you don't hurt yourself on the rough edges. Over there a marshmallow seat for you to sink into. And now I will sit and read to you from the bench of stench. What a fucking shit birthday that would be. Harry's wife didn't make a big deal of her birthday last month, so she doesn't see why Harry feels the need to go wild for his. If that's accurate, that would indeed accord with the behaviour of the narcissist. I didn't do anything, so why should you? And remember, as I've explained to you in detail narcissists when you're in the devaluation hate your birthday because it takes attention i.e fuel away from them but what she's failing to recognize is that harry is desperate to cut loose and let his hair down well there's not a lot of it to let down but i guess he still wants to let it down 
He continues by explaining that royal fans will remember a time pre-Harry's wife when Harry was the wild child of the royal family. While his older brother publicly trod the well-behaved path of a future king, Harry took the opposite approach, something he detailed in his memoir Spare, with stories of drug use, all-night raving, and even losing his virginity in a field behind a pub to an older woman at 17. In his 20s, he weathered a fair few media storms, memorably in 2012, when naked photos of him were splashed over the front pages following a wild night in Vegas as he got the old pink pods out. As Sussex Law tells it, everything changed in 2016 when Harry's wife ensnared the eternal bachelor. Since marrying in 2018 and formally stepping down as royals in 2020, the pair have been on something of a moral crusade, speaking out about racism, environmental issues, global poverty, and mental health, although we all know it's rampant hypocrisy. However, in the past year, their once lucrative brand has taken a massive hit, with critics accusing them of trying to cash in by launching never-ending attacks against the royal family. Their popularity further plummeted in June after Spotify pulled the plug on their $20 million podcast deal. All this pressure has coincided with fresh speculation over their five-year marriage. In May, Harry was repeatedly spotted at the exclusive members' club San Vicente Bungalows in Hollywood, while reportedly keeping a hotel room on standby near their home in Monte Shitcho. Meanwhile, Harry's wife, <coughs> 42, who shares son Archie 4 and daughter Lilibet 2 with Harry, was pictured without her wedding ring, which was supposedly being fixed at the time. A spokesperson for the couple denied rumours of a secret hotel room and any rift, and the couple have since been pictured together at a Beyoncé concert in Los Angeles, although Harry looked a lot more enthused watching footy team LA Galaxy play David Beckham's Into Miami the same weekend. But it would appear that Harry has still got itchy feet after a trying few months. Ongoing tension with the royals, who left him out of a private memorial to mark the first anniversary of the Queen's passing last week, have only added to his frustrations, which means that he wants to get a few Jaeger bombs down his neck, wave his naked ass out of a hotel window, and chant Ooga Booga, Ooga Booga, Ooga Booga, whilst running around with a towel on his head. What Harry really wants is a chance to relive the good old days, staying up until sunrise with friends, says our source. But Harry's wife is dead set against it, because there's no way he could keep it secret. She understands he's under a lot of stress, but the last thing they need is some sort of scandal. She prefers to spend her birthdays setting out her goals for the coming year, and she thinks Harry should do the same. Oh, isn't she fucking boring? Harry wants to go wild. His handler says, ah, ah, no chance, not going to happen. It's a big no from me. And it's no surprise because she needs to keep him under control in order to nullify the threat posed by him going off and doing something himself and the potential damage to the facade that she's shifting with regard to now being a celebrity power couple. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.